it's Monday. No, it's Sunday. No, it isn't. It's Monday. Yeah, maybe for it is. It is. Yeah, for him it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. We are... Here. I, oh yeah, I was just gonna get rid of it, the initiative button. Because we don't use it ever, ever. Nope. Like, for any... It's really just down to training, so we don't need the initiative button. It's kind of just there for to waste our time. <laughs> so, anyway. So, for four weeks, we've been just camping out inside of the keep with Ergo. I guess, um, I guess Annabelle just wanted some time to fucking relax, because okay. she... She she has been non-stop doing stuff. So as soon as Finn oh, said, was, uh, "Let's go track this scent," he said, "No, I'm just uh, I'd rather just take a break for a little bit, and then then we'll go do that." Yeah, just just need some time. <laughs> Which he generally agreed because he realized that you know if he's going to go on this hunt, he needs the support of other people. He can't just do it alone. As my kids, also the pack mentality. It's he's a he's a werewolf, and he used to be part of a pack. So uh, if he doesn't, he doesn't really prefer traveling alone, even even if his companions aren't werewolves. So he'd rather move with more allies at his back than to try and move alone, because whatever he's picking up must be something he can't take alone. So we spent a month inside the tillage, and we'll come back to that in a minute, because I guess Sains goes first, so. <laughs> he gets his moment in the sun, and then Dr. Seven's Dr. Seven. We already know what's happening with him. <laughs> he's making a... he's gonna assault a lake full of enemies. And basically, he's an eco-terrorist. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I damn it, Seven. <laughs> this is how he does no. things. <laughs> the game allows it, and so it shall be. Okay, so now we're looking at these you're really tiny people. It's a party of four. Igro's coming with you. Igro has agreed to take on the monumentous task of taking the Red Dragon Egg. So, oh, that's at least what he wants to do. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that's his... Uh, his, uh, his mindset is that since he's not since he, you know, he admits himself he's still naive, maybe the Red Dragon, the Great Red Dragon, will not kill him on sight. Or at least maybe he can calm her so that she can pass on her power. That's really the main objective. So what do you do? Do you just... No, we just leave, probably. <laughs> Okay, so how many zones is that? What's the shortest route? Uh, I think three zones. One, two, no, it's four. Ah, four. It's four zones, so four encounters. So, friendlies. Well, enemies. enemies. Uh, friendlies and enemies. Numb. And then, and then more enemies. <laughs> So, More enemies, great. <laughs> so you get halfway through, you get three fourths of the way through this zone, then you and encounter then allies. <laughs> so, are you doing anything while you're traveling? You guys usually don't. You just kind of, all right, beeline straight to the objective. Nothing doesn't matter what's on your surroundings. Doesn't matter any of uh, that. Th this this time, I am kind of looking around to see if there is no black dragons. Okay, so you're just scouting the lurking. area and. You do not see any signs of black dragons. In fact, there's that's the problem. Is there's also like besides the internal damage of your building, there's no signs outside that any sort of attack happened. The you analyze the wounded adult carna traps, and you like their their blows are very specific, just disabling blows. They're not killing blows. Also, they're just enough so that it doesn't leave like a massive mess on the ground <laughs> to be discovered later. It's it was a pretty clean knockout. Oh well. So besides the evidence you kind of recovered like the especially from that pool of acid that was uh used to be black dragons. <laughs> there wasn't much to say that there was an attack on your monastery. Mm. Let's see. You are in the forest zone. Ah uh, yes, I remember an old fr <laughs> 
Hold up, I have to drag said old friend back here. Old friend? Because <laughs> how long ago... How long back do you remember? Uh... <laughs> um, Not that long, apparently. <laughs> All right. It all so, depends on how long it should be. Long time ago, there was a giant mechanical construct that oh, used to reside in here. Yeah, you probably <laughs> got the hint. So, oops. <laughs> so, and that's the problem is he's there, but he's on. He's basically face down in the dirt. Let's see, arms. He's still got both his arms. Still got both his legs. His head unit is still intact, but his chest unit looks like it's been riddled with explosives. So, like, his back looks pretty gnarled <laughs> up, and he's pretty much face down in the dirt. So, walk up. What is it? Do you think he's alive? Do you think he's dead? I certainly hope he's alive. Well, that's D100. It's like, do you think he's alive, or do you think he's dead? So, you still have signs of life in him, like there's still energy coursing through him. It's just, it doesn't look like it's focusing in the right direction, like he's been really badly messed up. Great. <coughs> so, and I don't think any of you have any sort of mechanics. Like, none of you are good with machines. Mm. So, well. And the headhunter can't do anything... Egro's gonna try something. It's really he kind of just steps in between. It's like you know, if it work, if my powers worked on machine, if my powers worked on regular life, maybe it'll work on machine life too. No, don't do it. So, and he's like, you don't command me. <laughs> Look at what what you got. I just took and so he like he's not even listening. He's going straight for the objective. So, he tries it. Does he hurt himself in the process? Of course he does. So, same thing like, uh, same thing applies, which is, his powers apparently scar him. So, now he's got more leg scars and arm scars. Is he still standing? Yes. Yes. So, he's what getting he? used to the pain. Is he, is he you? We're not really sure not yet. Sure. Maybe I was using holy power all along. Yeah. It's kind of strange. It's, it's weird how Egro's powers kind of work like that. We don't, and remember, it's because he didn't actually get training as a paladin. He didn't like his father's teachings, and yet he's using holy arts. So, and that's damaging to his body. So he's yeah, not very, he's not an expert magician. So he doesn't lose a lot. So roll a d5. You get to decide how much damage he takes. Eh, four health. Not, it's not bad, but it still hurts. <laughs> so... Of course it does. What was he expecting? It's enough to get him operational, not enough for him to stand up, though. It's enough for him to, like, start to flip himself over and onto his back. Then he's trying to rise, and he's trying to turn his head, but he's, it's still struggling. So, uh, despite the pain, Igro's gonna keep going. So, although he got off to flip it back, he's, he's still trying to channel more energy into him. But it doesn't seem like he can do much more. Let's see, does he know or not? So, that's it, that's all he could really do. At least you didn't whack yourself out like lost. So time. he can't move his head and he can't talk. So Lord Trinket is alive ish, but he can't move and he can't talk, so he's still kinda stuck. Right this. Okay, so Of course it does work. Yeah. <laughs> you can see spirits, you just can't get their aid. So I guess who are you Austin. calling? Who would be Fico. useful in this uh, why Fico? Because he probably knows spirits who could help him. Okay, so let me go pull him out of his his den. Let's 
So, what is his opinion? It's like, uh, do you always have to call me every time you have a problem? Well, I don't really have a problem. Lord Trinket, on the other it's hand. It's like, oh yeah, then what's that? And he just points at Lord Trinket. <laughs> so, That's Lord that. Trinket. It's like, and how is he not your problem? I'm not saying he's. And in so, my like, problem. he goes past as he's shaking his head. It's like, you gotta be careful how you describe things. It almost made you sound callous and uncaring. <laughs> if I was, I wouldn't have bothered even looking at him. It's like, that's just uncaring. Callous is very different. Ah, uh, well. Can you help okay, him so up? No. You know someone who can. Well, I always do. <laughs> It's like, uh, and he's looking at Igra, and it's like, I take it you did your magic again. And he he just shakes it, he just nods his head, and Fico's a little bit surprised. It's like, oh, so you can see spirits? And it's like, there's only two options. It's either you have the same eyesight, or you are part Yellow Drake. That's the only two possibilities I can think of. Probably the second one. Uh, and he just he comes out and says, you know, my father was a yellow drake. So it kind of, maybe that is what I can. Maybe that's why I can see spirits. That's maybe why you can even heal people. Yeah, yeah his father was a paladin. So <laughs> my father was a paladin, sir. I already knew that, Igro. No, it's <laughs> he's talking to Fico. Uh, let's see. So it's like, very well, you guys run along, I'll handle this. So are you going to, or...? Well, Igor's uh, yeah. gonna do as ordered. I guess he kind of appreciates Fico more than he does you. And also is not very happy, it's like, why do you have to be so reckless? He just, he just says, he doesn't say anything at that point, he just says, you know, just points onward, we gotta get going. Just, we gotta keep moving. The problem is solved, now we have to just keep solving the next problem. So do you lead the party on, or what do you do? Yes, we go. <laughs> okay, so, second encounter was hostile, right? Sadly enough it was. <laughs> oh yeah, and that happens, like, midway there. So, you're going to leave them behind, and you're going to travel a little bit more to the northish area. So you travel a little bit more north, let me hide all that. <coughs> um, where the hell are we going? Towards the... The Heart of Fury, all you do, you go north, and then you go east, and then you go north. Why? Because it's... Do you want to wander Ash Plains for two zones, or do you want to just wander Ash no, Plains for one zone? No, yeah. One zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was like, actually, I think there's more encounters than I thought. That's actually... Let's see. One, two... Yeah, two. just two, never mind. I counted yeah. correctly. So this is Hostels. So, are you aware? Are you aware of anything? Like, what's your awareness look like? You guys really need the awareness skill when you actually get to see things. <laughs> not that good. <laughs> okay, also is aware. The headhunter's not aware, and neither is Egro. The headhunter's a little bit more concerned about Egro. Like, more than Oso is. Really, be, does it a sign of respect? It is respect because he's putting his own life on, you know, he's, uh, this headhunter's not used to people who are putting themselves in harm's way to save people. This is new to this. this is news to him because remember his only companies he's had so far is the already deceased and you guys, which are you guys aren't healers. <laughs> you guys are no, assassins. Really. You guys are roughly assassins and adventurers. You guys don't heal people. Well, Egro does, and so he's taken aback that someone's going to risk his life to heal someone he doesn't even know. So. 
You guys aren't. So also is the only one that's aware. Is she? Does she have enough time? She has enough time. She kind of extends a hand and just like says, "Get down." I at least follow. <laughs> yeah, so the only one who doesn't respond fast enough is Egro. Everyone else hits the dirt. Can I try to pull him down before? Uh, do you want under? Do you have enough time to? Yeah, nope. no, you can't, so... He's gonna be the one standing up when they attack. Let's see, what horrors can I unleash? Way too much, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, too many. <laughs> well, there's no such thing. So here's something interesting. I wonder if these are formatted. Oh, I actually formatted these correctly. So, you, she says get down, everybody gets down, and then you start hearing something going through the air. The girl's able, to, let's see, is he able to defend himself? No. So, he's gonna get slapped with quite a bit of damage, almost instantaneously. That's only one hit. Yeah, it's only one hit, but I think it's gonna be enough because it's hybrid type damage, it's uh... Mm. What is Eagle What is Eagle's armor class? He is no armor, so he's like a squire. <laughs> he's got no armor. He's got base, so he's gonna take the slash damage to the chest, and then the next one's gonna down him. So he gets this, he basically gets a knife to the chest, and then he just false, but he gets thrown backwards and hits the ground. Let's see, you guys are on the ground position. They're going to start, they're going to try to leap. So, do you have a defensive opportunity? Does anybody? So, nope. no, <laughs> and no. Since you guys are on the ground in a vulnerable position, they're, gonna pull, they're all going to leap in, cross the distance, and go for so it's kind of, it's a surprise ambush. I gotta go for stabs. So you can't defend yourself, but you have enough intuition to roll out of the way. So instincts kick in, and also is the one that gets stabbed. Sadly, so she's gonna take 39 pierce damage. Her armor class was I don't even remember. Uh, Again. Uh, so hers is light. She can resist pierce. pierce. <laughs> Great. So, like her armor has lightened in the time, so she can resist <clears throat> pierce. All right. So now it's your turn. Eagle's basically got a Eagle's on his back, and he's basically got a knife in his chest. You're being attacked by strange lizard men. I am going to... Let me realign us all in case nobody... <laughs> in case you forget. <laughs> so those are the lizard men trying to murder you. And it's pretty... It, it's safe to assume that they're trying to kill you, because they just stabbed Egro in the chest with a knife. And they just tried to stab you guys. That's not enough. What, Maybe to they say want to tickle you. You just want them to die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're friendly. You never know. So you're up. Yeah, nope. it's, you're up. it's perfectly yeah. plausible. It's not, yeah, it's not. perfectly plausible that the thing stabbing at you is friendly. <laughs> no, they're not. I'm, okay. I mean, so like, pretty much every time I'm attacked, if I are, you are you on your back or are you on your front? With a rolling eye roll on my back. Okay, so you're on your back. So you just whip the bow out and you do from the ground a shot. Let's see, can they? They weren't expecting you to attack back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's over their damage. Let's see what the, what's their armor class though. So they have considered medium armor, and they have Ooh. heavy armor under their body. So more, more damage for Pierce. Yeah, Agreed. for medium. Oh, medium armor for Pierce. Yeah. So it takes more damage for Pierce, and then the ice damage will just totally shred any sort of heavy armor. So it doesn't matter really. It's really just insta kill anyway. So they weren't expecting their prey to fight back so easily. Damn, Prey. I was fighting back. 
Okay, so... Obviously the third one is gonna take a step back and be on a defensive crouch now that he saw his two allies just die. So you're just gonna try to, to murder him, or what are you gonna do? First of all, I'm gonna stand up and then ask him why the hell did you attack? Okay. So he he doesn't respond. He just hisses and he just he's still in his crouch. So the headhunter tries to barrel past and go straight for the attack, but he doesn't have the chance to. Like he swings and it misses. So it backs off a few more steps. Like he's like it now. He's uh, it's he's in between everyone and it's just the headhunter and the lizard facing off so now he's distracted now what nah okay, misses so alright you try to drake sword him you have no, to get no, that's no, no. oh you try no to, ice bow oh no yeah, that's you, unique you press the ice. wrong button <laughs> uh, no I I pressed the ice bow first and then okay. I pressed the drake sword but that's only unique never mind yeah that's unique I forgot that was only unique yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's been a while what? since I used my unique. Oh, come but on. I hit him that was two days ago. <laughs> nope. Oh, so you use unique, unique on Friday? I've only been in my keep the whole Oh, yeah. For, the sets, uh, for that long. Yeah, yeah, true. You didn't actually. You were just trying to get information on the other dragons. Yeah. Um, Moving I on. only shot with the bow then. Okay, well, you have to actually shoot the bow. But I already pressed it. No, you pressed it. No, wait, what? Okay, so I guess you did <laughs> press the bow. <laughs> that's weird. I pressed the bow and immediately off. So he has a defenseless button. chance, so this time he's gonna try to resist the arrows, which he does swimmingly. Mm. So mm. he like you shoot two arrows and he just slices them out of the air. Which is astonishing because your arrows are magical, they should be able to freeze over most things. But his blade is not imp is not damaged in any sort of way by said things. Hmm. Interesting. So he's trying, he's definitely not going to stick around. Like, he's going to try to make a break for it. So nope. Oh, right. you can't <laughs> stop him. The headhunter's not about to let that happen. Like, as soon as he sees that he's trying to hesitate, he goes in for a charge and tries to detain him, which he does do. Simply headbutts him and knocks the blade out of his hand so that he can't fight back. And he does something strange. He he gets like a rope and he, cl he ties it around his mouth. He's basically is he like so he's kind of hog tying him at the same time. He's like kicking his legs so that the the target goes to its knees. What's and that? he's like talking, Real he's quick. talking as he's doing it's like, if you're wondering, it's, these things can sometimes spit acid or some other substance, I'd rather not take that chance. Mm, true. So he's just tying it, and it's still thrashing, it's not trying to just be detained willy-nilly. So, and he's starting to lose it, I mean like, it's like, uh, I could use a hand over here, this thing is, this thing is uh, taking a little bit more effort than I thought. What's up with my rolls? Okay, so... That's two, three. So three of you are trying to detain this thing, but this thing is still thrashing about. God damn it. So, even Egro, it's like, Egro tries to get up. Well, Egro's on the ground, so he's trying to get up, but he can't get up. So, the headhunter looks back, and he, he looks at you and says, you know, you handle this, I can't, you know, I have to go help the boy. So this thing is still thrashing. It's trying to reach for its blade. It's trying to kick at you. It's trying to do all types. Even though you kicked him in the legs, he's still trying to kick out with his legs. He's still he's using his arms. He's using his head. He's just thrashing about. And also, like, mm -hmm. he's trying to just knock him out, but he doesn't seem to want to be knocked out, so... <laughs> so, what is it you do that finally ends the sh struggling? Because he took like a headbutt, he took several kicks to the legs, and then he he's ba basically tied up. But he's still thrashing. 
Uh, oh yeah, I lowered the I lowered my kilobits per second, so now <laughs> I can actually roll at a timely <clears throat> manner. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> I probably just knocked him out. How? That's the because he took a headbutt to that. He took a headbutt and he's still, still moving, and very violently, might I add. Like, you know, the place where they hit in movies is that if they knock, knock someone out. There's a lot the of neck, places in the <laughs> you neck. hit people in the <laughs> movie. Anybody got any suggestions where he's supposed to be hitting this person? In the the neck point, neck. Hit that <laughs> neck point. Back of the head. Actually, oh, so you're just getting you're just getting the your armored gauntlet, and you're just slamming him in the side of the neck so that he yes. like, he goes unconscious. <laughs> so, you can just snap his neck. Yeah, That's quicker. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He just flops to the ground, and he just falls to the. He just he stops thrashing, and now he's on the ground. It's like, and also it's like she's breathing pretty hardly because that thing was it had it threatened to break out of your hold. It's like, ah, these things are persistent. What the hell are they? Persistent. <laughs> so that is research unlocked. So was there anything D one hundred? Was there anything like extra that you found besides just the okay? Of course. Apparently, I did. <laughs> so is it anything that you okay? So. You're starting like, <clears throat> okay. You've you've been through a lot of assassination attempts by now, <laughs> so it's you have some habits that have transferred over, such as you church the body of the people trying to kill you just almost automatically. <laughs> Lol. So you search the body and you find basically a hit list. Ooh, wonder. And the worst it. part is it's got all of your names on it. It's got um, pretty much your name, also Egro, the headhunter, and everyone who's of importance. That's including everyone you know, such as it's got Kruv on there. There's a, it's basically this large list of targets. Does it's it include like, me? Uh, Sains is on there. You're on there. I'm, I'm on, not there. on there. We're all on there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> everyone of importance. So whoever it is, they're well connected. They know of all of our all of the adventurers. And they they are tasking Damn people Illuminati. to kill. Them. Damn it, so Illuminati. also like also goes over and she looks at it and it's like, wait a minute, how does anyone know about everyone? I mean, they even have Doctor Seven on here. They have, you know, half of these people aren't even in the open. Oh, well, it's not it's like, like the Black Flight. And she's a little bit disgusted. It's like, and why uh, would they the target children? League. You know, Egro's still a boy. Why would they put him the on this list? Kill. Look where they got it. Yeah. They weren't trying to kill me as a child. Okay. It's like but so. No, it's like so. You're thinking anymore. it may be the same people. They may have learned from their mistakes. Yes. Okay. It's like I don't. Well, this it would make the most sense. I mean, I guess not. They're assuming not every child will respond the same way. That they're not willing to do the same mistake of just letting you live. Now it's even though you're a child, they'll still kill you. Probably. And, so. and she's trying to find anything that looks incriminating on there, and you notice that it's made of a parchment that of a specific material. Because remember, you guys were in the Black Dragon Hold, right? Ah, oh, great. So Just she was also was yeah. able to analyze a little bit of the plant life before you guys had to go and leave. Like as you guys were being marched in and then you snuck out, she was able to analyze a little bit. So now she's putting the pieces together, you know, it's like some of these plants look like this is you know, this is what it would become. Some sort of paper. Well, probably the same people then. So it's like so that means one of two things. Either this is a frame job and they're trying to make us think that the black dragons are involved or it's someone who's inside of Funos knowing that it's going to be safe for them someone hiding in there <sighs> probably the rebels it's like then the worst possible scenario is someone who is the one of the higher ups is trying to kill you one of the other and you say you, know, you haven't been to Funos you don't know what type of thi what has happened since the great black dragon has been announced dead <laughs> Mm, true. They haven't made but public still. the knowledge that he has a child. 
So, at least not that you know of. Well, then why? Uh, but that—that's the problem. Is there. the enemy apparently does know because Pei's name is on that list. Well, everyone's name yeah. is on that list. Yeah, everyone you know. So it's like Pei, Troik, all of the people in Safe Haven. The anyone's of worth anyway. Let's see. What about? Okay, also, it's everyone that you've kind of... Like, there are some names on there that you haven't met, so... There's a good chance that you can make some allies. <laughs> Go find out where these... Uh, let's see, roll a d100 first. Okay, so roll a d10. How many people are on that list that you don't know of? Yep. Close, not quite. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Man, he went away. So there are seven names on there that you haven't quite met, and you don't know anything about them. Let's see. What about well, Grimmall? Grimmall's, of course, Grimmall's name is on there. And everybody in his keep. Some of them, you, which you don't even know. So. And one of the connections you make is Lord Trinket's name is on there. And this is a. Um, let's just say the font is very small. Like, although it's a page that's about the size of your forearm, but when it's folded, when it's folded open, the, it's got almost a mechanical script on it, almost like it was machine-written, not so much written by hand. So, a degree of technology. Somebody's writing this from something like a typewriter. It's not written by hand. Mm. Which could Thanks. mean there are duplicates. <laughs> there are, probably that this are duplicates. list could be so... Also's instinct is check the other bodies, and she she searches the second one, and the second one has the same list. Ah, oh, great. So, so she walks over, list. and you, she she opens it, and it, she's uh, she's comparing the list with your list. And it's like you know these are the same, which means whoever's putting these out is putting them out to a lot of assassins not just the not just these three or not just a few this is a wide scale assassination attempt great oh joy i'm going to be killed <laughs> <laughs> well they'll try it's like uh they it's like try. but knowing them it's like look at what allies they're recruiting though knowing them they're not going to they're not going to it's whoever's hiring them is not doing it with foolishness in mind. Like, he's not sending his best assets. He's just sending thugs and people he knows are gonna die. Then why? Yeah, and that's, that's, that's just the point, is why? Why, why do it? Why, do why bother? It? Why would they want it very obvious that someone wants so many people so, assassinated? Another thing another comes thing. to Oso's mind and she keeps looking and she finds on the last one that this one has a coin purse on them. And mm. it's it's a reasonable amount. Roll a d5. So, five, that's a 500. That's like half a favor bar worth of favor in this pouch. And she's like, she's astonished. It's like, these people accepted payment up... These people are giving out payment up front. So, knowing that these people... It's like, why would you bother paying somebody that's going to end up... That may end up dead. So they did payment up front for, I guess, your your job. So they were very well motivated. To fund us. <laughs> so, are you paying attention to the assassin? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's D100. Like, how well are you paying attention to the assassin? Okay, so you're well paying attention. So he's trying to squirm out. Although you knocked him out on his face, like, you see that he's trying to jolt up and get, and get about again. So what do you do? You're aware of him, and he's trying to move out. I'm just like, you're not gonna get th away that easy. So what do you do? Besides saying words. <laughs> words aren't gonna stop him. So he's face down on the mm. ground, and he's trying, to, he's trying to get up as quickly as possible. But in a way where you guys won't notice, but you're obviously paying attention. I just knock him down again. <laughs> How? You gotta be descriptive. Same as before. 
he's on his he's on the ground, so you can't do the same as before. Or at least not. You have to like bend down to do it. You can just step on his back. No. <laughs> okay, so that's D100. Okay, so like that so if we were going with the previous one, you try to do the same technique, but he simply puts up an arm to block it. And now he's in full motion, like he does that at the same time he's you notice that the dagger is back in his hand. And that he's going for a stab. But he misses because you're prepared for him to stab <laughs> at you. So, like, he blocks your arm with one, and then he rolls up you, he rolls his back onto your arm to kind of pin you closer, and then he brings his left arm around, which has the dagger, to try to lodge it into you, but you block it. So, now what? Are you able to do anything? Because, remember, you know, one arm is pinned, the other arm is holding back this knife arm. So that's D100. Do you have any sort of movement? Do you have any sort of leeway? Okay, so you do. So what do you? I do. One arm, one arm of your arms is pinned under him, and the other arm is trying to hold back his knife hand. You have your legs in head. Kick him in the balls! <laughs> yeah, that always works. Yeah, can you, can you work yourself? I don't know, try it. You can try it. It's D100. So it does work. works. But it's like, you kick, let's see, does he drop the dagger? No, he doesn't drop the dagger. So, despite you, like, you can see he's getting physically ill from being kicked there repeatedly, but he's still going at it. Like, almost fanatically. His finger. <laughs> like, he's still just trying to lodge his knife into your skull. Hmm. So, despite everything, despite you wanting to keep him alive, also is like, also is looking at you like, you know, what is, what's your command? Should I kill him? Should I, what should I do? I give him halt. Okay, so, <clears throat> and she just steps in and she just, like, lodges her, her hand through his skull, and then does he, <laughs> I think, yeah, that would be the point where he stops moving. <laughs> no, he's fine, he's fine. Mm -hmm. He'll wake up in a little. No, he just lodged a just um. So and she like she does a ripping and tearing motion and she tears out whatever's inside of his skull cavity and just kind of drops it to the ground. Just a flash wound. It's fine. So and she looks at it and it's like you know, persistent even though, like even though he's uh, he was about to die he was persistent to the end. Well, apparently they they were going to pay a hunt big sum. If like they whatever it must it's like if the five hundred was if the money that they just re which also just recovered, which is now she has a. I'm actually gonna think about putting a favor bar on all the allies and actually making that an attribute, so that we can record that. Or maybe not. I mean, you have a red bar anyway. So anyway, it's. Since he just recovered his own, if that's the upfront money, what type of fortune are they offering in exchange for our, for your heads, for each of your heads? Probably a lot. Yeah. So, highly motivated. It must be enough to, yeah. like, pretty much court with death. <laughs> right, so... Headhunter's like, he's shouting up, it's like, you guys better get over here. 